everybody, I'm back again doing yet another temp review. Uh, you'll have to excuse my hair, it is a mess. Right, so today we will, shall be reviewing this little £20 tent that I found in Asda. Um, it says it's tape seamed and it's got 2000 hydrostatic head, so it's about the same level as what my brother's Euro hike is. So we're just going to have a little look around it and well, see if it's well for 20 bucks you can't really go too far wrong but let's have a look at it. So here it is I've already erected it. Now this was £20 at Asda uh, in the summer sale. Um, the ties you have to tie on yourself not too big a deal. I'm not gonna lie the fiberglass poles are pretty flimsy. Uh, I wouldn't recommend trying to bend them. Um, it does have the tie there in the middle, which is good. So I think that's something my brother's Euro height could do it with. It has the ventilation here. I don't know if you can see that. I think that might be a bit big. I think if it was like that. It would be okay so I think that's a bit too big but I could only guess if it rains so let's see if I can zoom out a bit there we go oops excuse my phone so it's a quite a dinky little tent now it does say two man so unless you're two very thin people I'd say it'd be okay. Condensation might be a bit of an issue though. Um, but if you're a solo camper, I'd say this would be great for a weekend trip. Um, oh, God, my legs. That is who it's by. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it. So you've got two little windows here. And... You got a tie which is nice so if you want to open it you know you don't have to keep messing around um, I'm gonna have a look inside now we so it is tape seamed so I think this would hold up pretty well um one thing I'm not over keen on. I mean, obviously, I pitched this in like five, ten minutes. So, you can see just how thin them poles are. Very uh, unsturdy, I'd say. I'd say once all assembled, it's quite good, but trying to build this in any form of wind is an absolute flipping nightmare. Uh, it kept blowing everywhere. Um, one thing I think it could have done with is like another tie or something to attach that up because in my Coleman it has one so it attaches like that so it keeps that up now one feature this tent has that my Coleman doesn't is here it has a zip so if it's a hot day you can have it flat out I suppose it would make it easier getting in and out of and then when you're got a bit of rain going on then you can you know pick it back up however I've got a feeling this because this is not waterproof in any way shape or form so I can imagine that is only going to let water in your front porch so you'd have to have this right over it to uh, make sure the water doesn't get in and it's got a little window and um, you can wrap this up it's quite good not too bad one thing I don't understand is what this is for because um, I know it's nothing to do with the ground sheet unless you know you decide you don't want that and you want to tuck that back but then why would you do that <laughs> it's like half unmaking your tent so that is one one little feature I do not get unless it's there simply to hang stuff on but then, you know, you put too much weight or, you know, you tug it by accident. You're just going to end up wrecking the tape seam. 
and therefore water is going to be another issue. <laughs> so it is tape seamed all along the outer. Um, obviously I cannot test this for water today and I'm not going to be sat there with a sprinkler because <laughs> um, trying to wash me car I ended up uh, breaking the hose didn't I? Like super, super clever. Um, but yeah this has all the information. Two person done ten. Uh, doubled layer to improve protection and ventilation. 2000 mm hydrostatic water resistant rating, porch area and ground sheet, internal storage pockets. So, yeah, and then it gives you all the dimensions. And it's nice that it actually says tape seamed because if it didn't tell me this, I wouldn't have got it. Build time 10 minutes, that pretty much accurate. Obviously, you start. It's one of them where you start with the inner and uh, and then you throw on the the top. Uh, this is just a, a picnic blanket that you know picked up just to stop the trainers from wrecking it. And it's pretty much all the same. Um, I am sat up in it, so say for my head, you you got about that much space in your little porch area. So if you're a short ass, you're all right. Right, now we're gonna have a look in the bedroom area. So bedroom area, you've obviously got the separated uh, mesh to protect the door. I'm just gonna tuck that behind there. Does look quite spacious. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> crawling. So in here you got the two storage pockets. Um, you got more information here. You know, obviously the usual stuff. Don't light fires. Don't set your, your tent on fire. Don't die. Oh look, we got a little bug already. Go away. <laughs> so up here you've got the the mesh. Um, a little place to hang a little light. <laughs> This is actually quite decent, so if I lie down at the feet, it's actually uh, it's a good amount of space, but I'd still say one person. I mean, if I, I mean, I'm a little on the chubby side, so I'd probably say yes, you could possibly fit two in here, but comfortably and with like backpacks and shoes and stuff, probably not. So, yeah, so along here, this isn't tape seamed at all, but I'm guessing they're relying completely and totally on the inner. So, I'll let that focus. So, yeah, it's not tape seamed there at all. Um, material wise, the inside, you know, I, I believe it's polyester, it feels quite nice. Um, we we'll definitely keep the water off, yeah. Um, I mean, whether that would stop <laughs> the water coming in, I don't know. The only other thing I have a qualm about, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, a bit too close. There we go. Is the summit hook only attaches to one of the poles. Um. So not both of them. So for me, that would be a little bit, mm, a bit less sturdier than it could have been. But I suppose it could be worse. But yeah, as far as space-wise, it's not too, not too bad for a two-man. I mean, I've been in smaller two-mans than this for sure. Obviously, it has the uh, the Velcro to attach the inner to the poles. But I think. A really good gust of wind or a really really windy day I think it would really test this tent quite well so I mean it says it's waterproof but I don't know I mean this feels okay it just I'm not gonna lie this you could sort of 
feel a bit cheap I'm not gonna but not to the point where it won't work so so if I had to go off what I would say on my tent rating I'd probably give this a six out of ten just because of like how flimsy the poles feel I mean I know it's like 20 pounds in British pounds so I, I don't know how much that would be probably about $30 in the US but you know that takes barely any force whatsoever I could do that with one finger Someone else I play music um, but yeah the outer, the outer feels okay. Excuse the dogs. Um, yeah, eight out of ten. Not eight out of ten. I can't remember what I said now. Six out of ten. I'll probably kick myself for that later on when I'm re when I'm doing the editing. Um, but yeah, like I said, points is I'd prefer something to hold that up without having to damage the outer so maybe if you had some tent glue but then you know you'd have to yank it off so unless you got maybe like a little button and tent glued each to it I don't know it might work I suppose um, obviously knocking points for the flimsy ass poles I mean at least it's true it is tape seamed uh, size, I think, is is mainly where it's sort of really good because it, you know, I can sit, I can sit up in here, in here is not much really more space in there. But if you're like a one person camping and you, you know, you want somewhere to put your your socks and shoes, so you've always got this area. But I definitely make sure your outer is well <laughs> over your porch area because it might have that, but it just flops straight over. And for some reason, I can never seem to put up a tent and it looks just as good as when it's in the picture. <laughs> so, and how have I got? Adjustable air vents. That much is true, but I still think they're a bit big. Includes a power socket cable. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. And fiberglass poles. Flimsy fiberglass poles. Okay. So, here it is. <laughs> So you've got the teeniest, tiniest little hole right there. So, again, how are you supposed to get a plug through that? So. Okay, that, that's quite humorous. If the slit was bigger, you could get a plug or something. That's just ridiculous. You can't get a plug through that. Especially not a British one. Never mind that one, that like is on the picture. You must certainly only be able to get a wire through that. Oh, so it's sorted. You cut off your plug, you can use it. <laughs> Which kind of defeats the object, so... I don't know about you, but that's kind of pointless. I mean, if you're going to add a feature like that, at least make it so you can fit the damn plug through it. 20 quid. <laughs> But yeah, that is a £20 tent. Now, I don't have high expectations for this because the good old term of put your money where your mouth is, I think, I, you know, relates to tents quite heavily. You know, at the end of the day, you can get a good, decent tent, you know, for a bargain. This one... You know, if, if it was like a little weekend trip and it was going to be good weather throughout, I'd say, you know, this would be fine. Good for a light shower, but horrific winds, probably not. For example, it's like I would have had another tie there. And the other side as well, just to make it a little bit more wind supported. Because really, you've only got it sort of front and back.
Yep. Well, guys, that is the whatever tent it's called. <laughs> Obviously, I will put the name on the title. I mean, I've never even heard of this brand before. But far as uh, cheap tents go, it's definitely the best one I've seen. It's not the worst, for sure. I've seen a lot worse. It's like my brother's $30, well, £30 Tesco tent. <sighs> Broke on the first try. Never use it. Don't even buy that piece of garbage. So, if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more because I swear to God we buy tents far too often. <laughs> Especially when we think we're going to get a bargain. Yep. And I shall see you all probably in a few weeks doing another one. Bye.